Switching gears he's been in before, and we always have fun with our pal Bruno when he does. Here's Rebecca on the couch. Thanks, Morgan. I'm here with 19-year-old racing driver Bruno Carnier. You are also the 2016 China Formula 4 champion. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, we had you in here about a year ago. Yes. What all has been going on? What races have you done? What traveling adventures have you been on in the past year? Right. So, well, I, I believe when I was in last year, I had been in Japan already, but I've been living in Japan, um, competing in the Japanese Formula 3 Championship. Um, it's been an interesting adventure living on my own over there, um, all of 2017 and then for the first part of 2018 this year. Um, good learning experience and competing in Formula 3, which is a step up from F4, um, where I won the championship. So um, it's been good, just struggling a little bit with the, the financial situation, mm -hmm. um, but all in all, it's been been good and still keeping the dream alive. So. Now most people want to own a Lamborghini. You got to race one this yeah. last weekend at the Utah Enduro. What what was that like? It was great. Um, I, I have good uh, connections with Make Some Models. Um, they're out in Layton and uh, I've been good friends with Derek who's top there at Make Some Models and I got a test in about end of May or so in one of the Lamborghini cars, the Super Trofeo Huracans. Um, 620 horsepower, wow. uh, so horsepower. So it's a great car to drive, very fast, obviously. Um, and I did pretty good in the test, and I was invited back to to compete in this six-hour endurance race. And uh, it was a great experience, obviously driving a Lamborghini and then right. driving at night was different experience, that was for sure. Now, how is this race different than some of the other ones you've done? Maybe some that you right. were doing out in Japan. Yeah, mostly like what I race in Formula 3 or Formula 4 even is sprint races. So they go for three, 30 minutes or so, half an hour. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this is an endurance race, so you have a mix of class. Um, I was in the quicker car, so you have some much slower cars that we have to flash by and everything. So you have to deal with traffic a lot um, and the endurance factor. So you kind of want to, instead of pushing all half hour you want to save the tires a little bit try to save gas you know keep the car in one piece for the whole six hours so you don't ruin everything right at once so it's different different experience and a different challenge for sure how fast did it go uh, I was I looked on the speed dash I was at about 116 to turn one Wow so pretty fun 116 or 60 60 60 yeah. 160 yeah. to turn one that's yeah. terrifying but oh, it sounds it. <laughs> amazing I want more now you celebrated your 19th birthday less than a month ago yes you've accomplished so much at such a young age what are your goals for this next year of life I'm really hoping to be in Japan uh, racing Formula 3 that's I think the next step for me in in order to continue growing with the possibilities that we have there um, but it is very expensive motorsports mm -hmm. is um, so you know, I'll, I'll try my best to get the sponsorship. I'm hustling every day and mm -hmm. making proposals and going visiting companies here in Utah. It's been a little unsuccessful so far, but hopefully I'm still still fighting and have a faith and hopefully we can mm -hmm. get it figured out. Well, thank you for joining us, thank Bruno. You. Of course, everyone here at Fox 13 wishes you the best of luck. Thank you. Love seeing our local athletes doing well, especially internationally. Thank you. Thanks for always having me. Yeah. I appreciate it.